This week we're talking about HR planning and recruitment, the advantages and disadvantages of internal versus external recruiting. And so essentially what are we talking about? We're, we're talking about finding uh, a, an employee from within the company, uh, an existing employee versus looking outside of the organization for someone to fill an open position. I think it's often difficult to do uh, internal recruiting because we often in organizations don't really appreciate the employees that we have. And I think there's a psychology to this. There's a saying that familiarity breeds contempt. Okay, Familiarity breeds contempt. It means that those people that we know really well, we don't appreciate that well. We actually have contempt for people that we know very well, which is a, it's an odd phenomenon. We go to such effort to uh, screen uh, applicants and, and to, to hire the right employee and to train them, and yet um, we don't really appreciate the people who are uh, closest in the organization. There's a real value to uh, employees within the organization. There, not that there isn't value to bringing people from the outside, but people learn many subtle things about working in an organization over time. This could be thought of as tacit knowledge. This is unformalized knowledge. You're not going to find it in a report or in a training manual, but it's something that you learn over time through interacting in the organization. And oftentimes that's very important to understand as you move through the ranks of an organization. So I think if we're going to be doing internal recruiting, we, re we also have to work on appreciating our current employees and appreciating the tacit, subtle knowledge that they have. Um, so uh, external recruiting, again, I think can be very valuable that it's a way of bringing in diversity, of bringing in people with novel ideas. Um, I will just say from my experience um, as a person who's moved between organizations, my best career progress has come when I've moved from one organization to another. So I think as you look at your career prospects, if you want to move up in your career, you often have to move out of the organization that you're currently in. Again, because they may not appreciate you to your fullest extent. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.